Welcome to another video. Today we are playing Mermail Alanian Sprites, and this deck is completely broken, and I'm going to show you why. Our opponent does not seem to be able to stop us, so we're just going to go into Diva plays. We have Sprite Blue in hand to extend. Let's just show off how destructive this is going to be. Prince is going to send Dragoons, add Dragoons to hand. We're going to search for a Deep Sea Menstrual, and we're going to take a peek. And opponent has a Shark's Hand. Nice little water field as well. Very cool opponent. Um, but... Their hand does not have any disruption, so they're going to have a very sad time. Twin Twisters, um, not really a card we're concerned with. Better to make them discard their rank 4s uh, or the Abyss Shark. So we're going to remove the Twin Twisters from hand, because we're going to make them discard two cards at random, which is not something most people will expect sprites to be able to do. And it does make them even more broken than they already are. We're going to Sprite Blue here. Get the Sprite Jet. Now the sequencing is very important. You need to have the Deep Sea Diva on the field before you start activating your sprites. So we're going to make sure we don't use our Diva yet to do any more plays and then we'll get our sprites out. And then before we do anything that locks us into level rank link 2s, we're going to summon a Swap Frog from hand. Uh, there, We didn't need to do this. We could have done a link 2 play with Deep Sea Diva and Prince. You can make a Abyss Lacia and that would get 5 waters in graveyard. But we happen to have Frog in hand, so I'm using Frog. Summon itself, send the water to the graveyard, and that's going to get us every water we need in the graveyard to do our Mool and Glacia play. Now, we don't have a space for Mool and Glacia. You got to be real careful with this. So we're going to XC our two sprites away into a gigantic. And don't activate its effect before you special summon Mool and Glacia. Make them discard too. Hitting the rank up magic and the abyss shark. This is just as disgusting because we're not done. We're going to make Baron, giving up our battle fizz. That does not matter. Opponent won't won't be using the battle phase. Let's let's be clear about that. Now we're gonna use Sprite, Gigantic Sprite to summon the Nightmare Corruptor Ibly, link it into a Sprite Elf, give him the Ibly, and this is gonna just lock sharks out of the game. They can't special summon uh, non-link monsters. Often they don't play any links at all. Special summon the Rodent Toad. Make an IP Mascarena. Special summon the Rodent Toad again. Make a Mermail Abyss Lacia. Set our Interruption. And pass to the opponent. We know they have the Twin Twisters, so that's why I'm not setting the call by. We got Negate. We got Quick Link. We got the Nightmare Corruptor on their field, stopping them from summoning. Yeah, an opponent is... is They're giving up. We draw into Yamato. Uh, it's even more disgusting. Sprite Elf doesn't lock us into level Rank Link 2, so we get Sprite Blue back. We search for another Sprite Jet, and we can go into another... Synchro play going straight into Che Ying. Like, this is just, this is so gross. We do have to skip our Battle Fizz, so we're gonna pass the opponent. And Yamato Orochi has another special effect. I'm definitely saying this name wrong. Yamatako Orochi gives our monster piercing battle damage, so we can attack through the Nightmare Corruptor that was stopping our opponent from summoning non link monsters. And this is just disgustingly easy lethal. Now, our opponent didn't put up much resistance to us. So I'll make sure to show some more interesting games. If you stick around, let's get going. All right, go in second here. Let our opponent set up with a pot. We don't have any interruption, so we're just gonna have to see what board they make. And it looks like they're playing Sword Souls. If you like the channel, if you like these videos, make sure to subscribe. I'll have more videos on sprites in the future, more videos on cool water decks, and some other cards in the new uh, release packs are pretty sweet, so I'll probably be doing videos about those too. I know Psychic and Punisher is a card I want to check out. Let me know uh, if there's other cards you want to see made into uh, a video, if there's anything spicy you got going on. Alright, opponent doing typical Sword Soul things. I'm going to accelerate them a little bit. Uh, not sure, opponent's yeah, again back the Ashuna, special summoning the Strategist. So they're going to have at least two negates here. Monster negate and yeah, Baron de Fleur burning us for 12. Looks like they're extending a little further here, getting a Bashuda. Shaman of the Tenyi is just going to get... Discarding a pot is an interesting choice from the opponent. Opponent discarded a pot for that play. They could have kept that pot in hand, done, done plays on follow-up turn. Maybe they think we're going to concede here. Summoning the Monk is not necessarily the strongest line here. So we got a lot of negates to work through. One, two potentially a double pop 
So we're going to start with Heavy Infantry as our level 2. Uh, I could have used Deep Sea Diva, but it's almost certainly getting negated. And if Barad negates the Deep Sea Diva, that's terrible because uh, it'll pop it. So that's why I'm starting with the Heavy. Let's special summon the Sprite Blue. Not too sad if Sprite Blue gets negated since we got other Sprites in hand already. Opponent going to Ash Blossom, so we're going to use Call By. I'm really trying to get rid of this Baron Negate. <laughs> the opponent also has Infirm. Alright, so opponent actually had four negates. Sneaky opponent with your four negates. But that's okay. We're not out of this yet. We had an additional normal summon uh, with our Heavy. So we're going to additional normal summon the Deep Sea Diva uh, after summoning the Sprite Carrot. Deep Sea Diva, get out here. Opponent correctly going to negate the Diva. That's okay though. They have not used their Baron Negate. So we're going to just get rid of that. Link into IP Mascarena. And we're going to special summon Underworld Mommy. Underworld Goddess. Let's you steal an opponent's monster. And when it's summoned, we can negate all our opponent's monster effects. So let's negate. Permanently negated. We are going to attack over their Monk of the Tenyi because opponent has a Tenyi Spirit of Ashuda, which is a targeting effect uh, that will actually let them remove the Underworld Goddess. So we're attacking that so they don't have a normal monster. And we're hoping they don't have a way to extend here. Because if they have a way to summon a normal monster, we're going to be in trouble. But opponent, their monsters are negated. They don't have anything in hand. They got rid of that pot. And they're out of here. Very strong play from Sprites going second. Let's go on to the next game. All right. So we got Swap Frog Sprite Blue and our Dragoons in hand. We probably won't be able to use this Dragoons. It is one of the downsides of this deck is that it's running kind of four bricks. Uh, you don't really want to have in hand. Although Dragoon is not completely a brick, you can't summon it. Opponent negating our max C. Very rude opponent. I was hoping to draw a billion cards. They won the uh, max C minigame. Max C, very deadly against this deck. If you don't have an out to max C, you aren't really going to be able to make a good board. Um, and generally that's going to be game loss. So max C going to make this deck different from TCG. Where this is a very similar deck to this, we're quite strong. But in TCG, there's no Max C, so opponent doing branded things. Making their little Despia plays. Going into Mirror Jade. Very typical, very typical. Send some back row. And I saw some spice here. Hold on a second. Opponent discarded a Dynamorphia Diplos. Alright, so this is spicy. Maybe we expect some Dynamorphin going on. Let's start by special, I mean, special summoning Swap Frog, discarding the Ronin Toad. Uh, this is going to get us. Swap Frog going to activate, send a another swap frog to the graveyard unless opponent negates which they do all right well that is okay because swap frog can return itself to hand and his effect to return himself is a cost so it's not actually negated opponent it's showing it being negated but still happens anyway unless normal summon him get another swap frog to the graveyard and start doing sprite plays opponent gonna activate mirror jade to banish um so if you're playing mirror jade don't banish the level twos banish the gigantic sprite that's my advice opponent banishing but we still get the search so we search for the jet gonna keep extending here jet gonna search for opponent chaining dynamorphia frenzy if they toggle on they can summon the rex term and rex term can negate negate us or stop us from activating monster effects are they toggled on the opponent is not toggled on so we get the Sprite Elf, and we have the starter in hand as well, which means we can extend even further, but opponent, they're giving up, not willing to play it through the Sprites. All right, uh, you know what? You gotta believe in yourselves a little bit more. We hadn't even set up a strong board yet, although we were probably gonna, gonna get there. All right, let's go on to the next game. All right, uh, this is probably the brickiest hand we could get. A little too many hand traps. Hopefully Maxi can draw us into something good. Opponent is playing Exo Sisters. We are going to negate the Exo Sister packs, which lets you special summon an Exo Sister uh, if an Exo Sister mentioned is on your field or graveyard. So I, I made a mistake here. I'm smart with the Ash Blossom negating the Crossout. Uh, Crossout's negating our Ash Blossom, but I chained the Max C. Opponent hasn't committed to any summons. So opponent doesn't have to summon anything. So this is a big mistake. I kind of wasted the Max C here. Hoping to get some draws. I don't know how Exorcist was working. 
opponent getting a triple tactics pot of greed mode because we activated that card and they're just normal summoning uh, Ellis and passing so we don't draw any cards for Maxi so that's a bit bit of an oops uh, I'm a fool you know and we don't have any, he draw dragoons uh, another bit of a brick so I'm just gonna pass here hope opponent can't get lethal I want to go into the Sophia all right how good are exosisters exosisters strong we're holding a uh, imperm hopefully to stop something lethal opponent activating this trap to special summon two more exosisters gaining life points and activating this to search for more exosister cards uh, banishing our maxi to special summon more exosisters and this one is trouble this one's activating and its effect is gonna boost all the monsters attacks by 800 which is very lethal so we're gonna negate with the imperm hope that that's enough i want to rank up exeing into magnifica which has two attacks all right so opponent getting lethal on us punishing my poor maxi decisions all right well you know what that was probably my fault don't blame the deck for this let's go on to the next game all right uh, opponent he's going first and they are playing sprites nimble beaver gonna let him summon some level twos let's see if they can play through maxi looks like they lost the maxi challenge they were not able to negate maxi and they're not giving up either summoning four monsters and now they've realized we have too many cards in hand and they are giving up well opponent you know what <laughs> is that the out to sprites maxi yeah i think it is opponent was probably right to give up um uh, but at the same time you know maybe we were playing uh, all normal monsters and this our deck is garbage they you know they could have tried at least wait all right let's go on to the next game all right very cool hand here because we have Deep Sea Minstrel, which is going to let us discard the Dragoons to take a peek at our opponent's hand. Let's see what they got. Opponent playing Heroes with Vion Increase, two Hero Lives, and Instant Contact. So nothing here to interrupt us. So we're going to take a card that we don't want sent to their graveyard. I believe this card has a graveyard effect. Um, either way, I, I think this is the weakest card. So we're going to take it uh, as our goal here is to make them discard too. That's our goal. Let's search for the Deep Sea Diva. Deep Sea gonna activate. Search for the Prince. Prince gonna activate. Send eight Dragoons to the graveyard. Add a Heavy to hand. And Dragoons gonna search for the Moon Glacia. Now we got one, two, three Waters in Graveyard. We could go into Appaloosa here. Uh, Abyss Glacia, sorry. Abyss Glacia, Link 2, uh, would let us just special summon the Moon Glacia, make him discard two cards. Uh, but I get a little greedy, summoning Swap Frog. Swap Frog discarding heavy, gonna put four waters in the graveyard. And I accidentally hit uh, no to activating Swap Frog to send a water to the graveyard. So now we uh, we don't have we don't have it. We don't have five. So I could I could here repair my mistake by Link Twoing into the Spray Elf. Go Spray Elf uh, with Deep Sea Diva and the Spray Carrot. That would get me five in the graveyard. Um, but I accidentally summon a Gigantic Sprite. So now I can't summon Moon Glacia, so that's pretty sad. Let's see if my mistake ends up mattering. Gigantic gonna search for the Nightmare Corruptor. We're gonna make Sprite Elf. We're gonna give our opponent a Nightmare Corruptor. Let's activate Sprite Elf. Getting the Frog back to the field. Send a Ronin Toten. Link summon into the IP Mascarena. Ronin gonna give us a special summon from the graveyard. We can go into a Herald of Pure Light. Herald will let us add, if we have a hand trap in our graveyard, we can add a hand trap to our hand. But we're gonna add Deep Sea Diva back so we have plays next turn and get rid of this Moulin, Gra Moulin Glacia to uh, you know clear out our mistakes. We don't wanna be reminded of our mistakes. So we're gonna replace that with a Deep Sea Diva. Set a cross out and see if the opponent can get through this. Opponent summoning a Vision Hero Vion. We are not going to respond to this. Just going to let it happen. So opponent is not able to special summon monsters right now, except for Link monsters. Opponent does have a Link play. They got the Verte. Probably going to try and go into DPE here. Um, but we can stop them. We can stop them in a couple ways. But let's show you right now. Activate Mascarena, Chaining, Spray Elf. That is going to let us resummon the Ibli to our field. And then with Mascarena... 
we can link play. Stealing their Verte to make an Underworld Goddess. And that's going to give the Ibli back to them in defense mode so they can't clear it using the Battle Stub. And that is just showing off how ruthless this deck is. This deck is so savage. They cleared the field lock and we just gave it back to them while stealing one of their monsters. And we still have the Sprite Elf. And opponent is, yeah, I mean, they're conceding, I understand. That was just savage. This deck is ruthless. All right, let's go on to the next game. All right. On to another game here. We got Max C. Uh, we have Max C as uh, the boss monster because we only had one level two in hand. And I normally don't play three Max C's. I normally cut Max C because I just don't like the card. But in this deck, Max C is so good. It actually synergizes with a deck that I think three Max C is mandatory for this deck. Like, no lie. It's Max C, now boss monster. Let's go into the gigantic sprite. This is probably like the weakest hand sprites can have. You're not bricking. Let's make the Nightmare Corruptor. Special summon. The Elf. Get back the Nightmare Corruptor. Onto the opponent's field. Activate. Special summon. The Jet. Activate starter. Just to get another extension here. Going into the blue. Blue going to search for another sprite. Get us the Carrot. Special summon Carrot is going to give us a... Quick effect spell negate. Masquerina on field. Set the call by. And now we can spray elf to give ourselves a negate with carrot. Opponents locked out of special summoning. Let's activate. Get the blue. Blue gonna search. And this is just the desk is so disgusting. Everything pluses. Opponent summoning a magical broker here. While they control a continuous trap, it can't be destroyed by battle card effects. Alright, we are gonna just link summon into the mech knight crusadia so our opponent can't attack into our sprites here and opponent is passing no more plays probably because of the nightmare corruptor opponent activating safe zone target a face-up attack position monster it can't be destroyed by battle or card effects and can't be targeted with card effects we can't attack it and we can't attack directly all right oh no we can attack it but we cannot attack directly so that is interesting i think i want to negate that we probably can get lethal here. Let's use the character negate. Opponent burning us. Whenever we send a card to the graveyard, all right. This is some spice. Magical broker gonna activate. Send a face of continuous spell to the graveyard to draw a card. All right, we could have ashed that, but not going to. And that was just our standby phase. That opponent realizing that uh, that was not going to be enough to stop us is conceding. All right, well, I'm not sure what that spice was about. Let's go on to the next game. All right. We're gonna use Maxi as an extender here to get our Sprite Blue out. Opponent going first. See if our draw changes that plan. Uh, Ronin Toad, probably better to summon. So Ronin extend into the Sprite Blue. Get a Jet. Not sure what opponent's playing here. Jet gonna search for the Smashers. I'm expecting some interruption. Gigantic Sprite, gonna activate. There we go. Okay, opponent's playing Eldlich. Spicy, spicy Eldlich. And they needed to do this now because Gigantic Sprite locks both players into level 2, rank 2, link 2, which means Eldlich would not be able to be summoned after this Gigantic Sprite activated. So opponent knows what they're doing. Activating the Eldlichser in response to the Gigantic activated effect. Getting the fancy new Eldlich. Very cool opponent. Let's special summon a Swap Frog, because we're going second here. We're not going to be locking them out with Ibley. Let's show off the power of Swap Frog. Ronin, going to get summoning from the graveyard. Make a Sprite Elf. Sprite Elf going to special summon the Swap Frog back from the field. Ronin is banned in TCG. They saved Toad and caught Ronin. Ronin going to activate again. Special summoning itself. Let's go into the Mask Arena. And are we done? Well... We could actually do that again, but we are not having enough attack points to get through this Eldlich. So let's pass to the opponent with a lot of setback row. Opponent probably had the best drop possible with a Raigeki here. Uh, so we're going to quick effect respond with the Mascarena. Mascarena will protect the monster that it summons from being destroyed by card effect. And let's steal the Eldlich, making the Underworld Mommy. Underworld Goddess, immune from Raigeki because of... 
because of, hold on a second, hold on a second, opponent, activating Lightning Storm. Now we made a mistake, uh, I made a big mistake here. I could have chained my Sprite Smashers. Uh, Sprite Smashers would have let me pop one of their back row. Um, well, we still had that Sprite on field, but before it got destroyed, our Sprite Jet, but I, I, I didn't do it in time. I, I just let it go. And now opponent activating Lightning Storm, gonna destroy all of our back row. Well, let's respond with Call By. Negate the Eldritch. And opponent thinks they're smart with activating Eldritch, sir. And this can special summon a zombie from the deck, but it can also summon from the graveyard. And because it can summon from the graveyard, Underworld Mommy says no. Negate. Negate's an effect once per turn that would summon from the graveyard. So that is negated. Eldritch is banished. And any more Eldritch they have in their hand, not going to be able to activate this turn. And we lose all our back row. But we got Maxi, we got Dragoons. Opponent ending the turn, passing to us. Let's see if we can get through this. That's right, Ronin in the graveyard. Gonna let us go into more plays. Ronin probably busted, probably more busted than Toad. Will you let me know? If you ban Ronin, Sprites can't make Toad. Let's summon the Maxi. Special summon Gigantic. And now we, we basically are unlimited here. Gigantic gonna search the Sprite Blue. Probably should have put that in attack mode. Search for the jet. Jet gonna summon itself. Search for the starter. Special summon. A spray elf. Spray elf gonna activate. Give us more monsters on the field. Let's activate the starter. Search for the carrot, and this is lethal damage. Let's get in. One at a time with sprites. And underworld goddess. And this deck is savage. Alright, let's go on to the deck list. All right, so here is my Splash Zone Mermail Atlantean Sprite deck. We got one Neptibus, one Yamato, triple Deep Sea Diva, triple Swap Frog, hey Ronin, triple Maxi, talked about that important as being a level two and obviously the best card in the game. Triple Heavy, as a level two, this one is pretty good. One Nightmare Corruptor Ibley, you saw how savage this was locking our opponent out of playing the game. Triple Sprite Blue, triple Jet, double Sprite Red, one Carrot, triple Ash Blossom, one Deep Sea Minstrel for our combo with the Prince. We got two Dragoons, three Dragoons, a little bricky, and we don't really need more than three, playing only one Neptibus. We got one Moulin Glacia, two Call by the Grave, one Crosso, because Maxi is our number one enemy, and we want to stop our opponent from activating their Maxis on us. Two Sprite Starters, one Smashers, and two Imperms. In the extra deck, we have Herald of the Arclight, Baron de Fleur, Sword Soul, Supreme Sovereign, Herald of the Pure Light to get cards back from our graveyard. This can add a max C that you use to combo back to your hand. Sky Cavalry Centuria, two gigantic sprites, one Abyss Lacia, IP Mascarena, Sprite Elf, second Sprite Elf, Nightmare Unicorn, Mech Knight Crusadia Abermax, Appaloosa, and an Underworld Goddess of the Closed World. If I were to make changes to this deck list, I would probably consider adding a Nightmare Phoenix to get rid of back row, and I would also consider adding a Tatsunoko. Tatsunoko would let us do a play where if we have Deep Sea Diva and Prince, we can Synchro Summon using a card from our hand. Now we only have two level 10 Synchros, which means in order for Tatsunoko to make sense, we do have to add one more brick to our deck. We have to add a Poseidon to the deck list in order to make this play work. So uh, I usually play 40 cards, uh, I, so I'll say, you know, if you're going to play this deck, you probably should play 40, which means if we add Poseidra, we do have to cut something. Uh, and then so I'll probably just cut one Sprite Red, which is probably a mistake. It's going to make the deck a little more bricky, but hey, it is pretty fun. Hope you like the deck list. Let me know what you think about it. Oh, we got to cut some more stuff from the extra deck here. Let's cut Herald of the Arclight and probably the Sky Cavalry, who I never made. All right. Okay. All right. Here's the full deck list. I hope you like the video. And let me know what you think, if you want me to make any changes, if you got any suggestions for future videos. Alright, thanks for watching, and have a good night. I'll see you next time.